All right, what's up, guys? So this is not going to be a long video, but this is for people who've inquired about going through the starting bankruptcy or foreclosure, rather, um, and they're looking for some more tidbits. I know I put some of this in another video, but I don't think I talked about this one. This is for those homeowners who are, you know, kind of on in a rough place and whatever else. Now, I remember in the other video I told you to contact them about the mortgage protection insurance and um, also look into doing a LPN or promissory note. If you don't have those, I have those available on my site to try to pay off your house. Because remember, your house has been paid for multiple times over. Check MERS, see if it's inactive or active. If it says inactive, it's been paid off. But I digress. This particular video is just going to be short and sweet, but it's going to be about um, what's known as a securitization audit. Securitization audit. What that means is, is you want to see if your note and your mortgage and all the all that goodies have been separated, which they probably have, especially if you've had a house since 2000, 2002, moving forward. And what that means is, is they bifurcated it. They separate, separated those, and it means that um, that's illegal. Some judges don't know that, but you, you can't have something. If this secures this, they need to stay together. You cannot by any means separate them. When that is done, it has been bifurcated. You have broken the agreement and now it's void. The house is yours. You put down some collateral for it. Um, you are in first position. The bank did not sign anywhere on there. The bank can't sign. At best, they can have somebody, an authorized agent stamp. That's not a living party. To have a valid contract, it has to be signed by two living parties, which is called the meeting of minds. Okay? Otherwise, it's a unilateral contract and it can be contested. So a securitization audit, you're going to have... Now, I don't do these by no means. I'm, I'm not on that brain level. Um, however, the, there are people out there who do this for a living. They will take all of your original paperwork, so you need to have that. They will go through it. They will trace it. They will follow the line and see what things that they did, which will show um, they sold it here. They, you know, they paid it off, but they didn't tell MERS yet. They sold it to whoever. And MERS really actually works for, I just found this out, really works for the banking. The banking people got together. Let's form this company called MERS. That's not us. Because um, I see how they play. Um, and then we can just send a, you know, the mortgages over there, and they'll destroy the originals and turn them into a digital format, and then we can transfer them around. All right, look up mortgage fraud. So that audit will can be used for you. Now, I'm not saying you can get your house lock, stock, and barrel free every time, but you have a high, high percentage of a chance. And I don't know what these cost. These can cost anything from a couple hundred bucks to a couple thousand dollars. Um, but if you can, find somebody who can do it and for a reasonable price. And if they're a level three, that's great. That's the best you can really get in this. And that should help you guys in your situation. So not a long video, guys. This is mainly for people who are homeowners. Um, but for you, those of you who aren't or are possibly going to be, do all of your research. Know about this just in case. Some people are like, oh, that ain't going to happen to me. And then all of a sudden one day you're like, oh, which video did you know the bad wolf make that he was talking about that stuff? All right. I'm leaving it here for posterity. Um, that's it, guys. Don't forget to hit that bell like subscribe. Don't forget to take care of your bartender. And uh, last call. All right, so, um, yeah, check out BlackSite32.com. I uploaded some new uh, files you guys can download. Remember, not all of them are mine. Some of them are just free that I found on the Internet with no owners. And some of them are mine. Use them as you will. Don't bother me about spelling. You spell the name on the one file wrong. Look, I'm not a grammar guy, okay? This is what it is, and I probably didn't make those anyway. Um, that's it. Talk to you later. Booyah!